Hi, it's Jakey again. Sorry for the long break, but I'm back again with a new video on Physical Damage Limit. Physical Damage Limit is a relatively new stat, and so I've gotten a lot of questions about how it works. But first, to understand how it works, you have to understand a little bit about how physical damage works. Now, I'm going to be skipping an awful lot of steps and oversimplifying this, but hopefully it'll be enough for you to understand how, how this works. So, first, you need to know that physical damage is equal to your base damage, which is actually a lot more complicated than it sounds, times your PDF. And your PDF is equal to your attack divided by your enemy's defense subject to a PDF cap. Now, this isn't quite true because the first PDF is actually your post-randomized PDF, and the second PDF is your pre-randomized PDF. And I'm not going to go into how you go from pre-randomized to post-randomized, other than to say that there's a level correction involved and there is a random value within a certain range based on your pre-randomized PDF that uh, gets spit out before you plug it in to find your actual damage output. That's why when you hit something with physical damage, there's a random number within a range of your actual damage. That's where it comes from, and I'm not going to go through all the formulas to try to uh, correctly assess where your random value is going to be. I, I'm just going to let you know. In terms of gearing, what you need to know is that it's based on your attack divided by your enemy's defense subject to a cap. And that cap varies depending on your weapon type, the damage limit plus job trait you have, and if you have physical damage limit gear, which is what we want to look at. So your PDF cap is just your weapon PDF cap taken from the first chart you see here, plus your damage limit plus trait, which is from the second chart here, times one plus the physical damage limit gear percentage total that you have. Now, these charts are taken from BG Wiki, but I've cut out a few things that are uh, highly misleading from them. On BG Wiki, the weapon PDF caps also list the crit values. Now, this is misleading because the actual non-range crit PDF cap is your normal PDF cap plus one. And the plus one happens after you multiply the physical damage limit gear. And on BG Wiki, they simply add one to the value. And so if you try to take that and then multiply the physical damage limit gear, then you've got the wrong value. So that's why I've left that out and I've simply put the equations up there. Now, because we add one there, after multiplying the physical damage limit here, that means that the, the non-ranged crit PDF cap actually does not increase by the as high of a percentage based on your physical damage limit gear as the non-crits. So for instance, if you had a 10% a physical damage limit gear, your non-ranged crit PDF cap only increases by about 7 to 8% you know, depending on your weapon type and your damage limit plus. The range crit PDF cap, instead of adding one, you multiply by 1.25. Um, and so that also it'll increase by the full 10% uh, if you add 10% physical damage limit gear. Oh, before I go on, I should make sure to note that the non-ranged crit PDF value also gets a 1 added to it, so you don't need additional attack to reach the higher cap for the crits. Uh, 1 is added to the PDF in the first place, so uh, and with the ranged it's multiplied by 1.25 as well, so the 
caps are only increased so as to go along with how the uh, PDIF value is different for crits. And you need the exact same amount of attack to cap a crit as a non-crit. Physical damage limit only raises your attack cap. So once you're no longer attack capped, any additional physical damage limit will not help you. But as long as you have enough attack to support it, it can be extremely powerful because it applies to all hits. This means white damage, this means weapon skills, and it, and it means all hits of weapon skills. Unlike weapon skill damage, which only applies to the first hit, or multi-attack procs, which can only proc off the first two hits, physical damage limit applies to all hits. So if you have enough attack, it's extremely powerful, especially for multi-hit weapon skills where there aren't that many other good ways of boosting their damage. Also, it can work as a separate multiplier from other damage bonuses, making running a mix of physical damage limit and weapon skill damage a viable option. Some weapon skills come with attack bonuses or ignore defense bonuses. These pair especially well with physical damage limit and can often work even with minimal buffs. Meanwhile, there are other weapon skills with negative attack bonuses, which need extreme buffs or debuffs for physical damage limit to work well with them. Thanks for checking out my video. Feel free to like and subscribe as I am planning another short series of videos over the next few weeks. And have a great day.